This is 2D Design with Rob Colvin. We are continuing our assignment where we are creating form, the illusion of form, on a flat surface. We are creating a sphere using the stippling technique. I will right click on the image and open up my brush options. I will choose the hard round brush and I want my brush to be 8 pixels, making it a little bit bigger in this assignment because we are going to be using dots and it will go a bit more quickly if we use larger dots. I will now select the layer with my clipping mask for the sphere and begin making dots. I will begin making dots in my core shadow. Remember we have a core shadow on the lower right, but don't forget the reflected light on the edge of that core shadow on the lower right next to the cast shadow. So my dots are closest together in that core shadow. I don't worry so much about being deliberate and precise in the placement of my dots in the core shadow, but as I move towards the gray areas, I want to be more deliberate in the placement of my dots, spread them out in a more even fashion so they don't get an accumulation of dots in a specific area in those gray areas where it looks too black. So pay attention and be deliberate more in your gray areas as you move towards the white. You can see I've jumped ahead here, but I've made progress on my dots, trying to spread them out, and transition from black to gray to white. Stippling is probably my least favorite technique. It can look very attractive, but it takes a long time. I will select my cast shadow clipping mask and start filling that in. Remember it's darkest closest to the bottom of the sphere and then disperses outward. So keep it darkest next to the sphere. Now I'm going to select my clipping mask for the value scale. I'll work from black on the right to gray to white. So again, be more deliberate in the placement of your dots in your gray areas as you move towards the white. So now I'm switching my brush to white and I've reduced the diameter of, of the tip and I am trying to smooth out some of my areas that got a little too black and make smoother transitions from black to the gray to the white. So I'm going to save this as a PSD with my name on it and I put an S for stipple. So put your name on it to submit it for the assignment as a PSD so I can see your layers. Thank you.